All right. Well, here's a look um, today at demonstrators who they've gathered near the bridge leading to former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago compound in Palm Beach. Right now, the former president faces a possible indictment for allegedly falsifying business records to hide campaign finance violations. And new this morning, we are learning there are reports of a significant increase in threats and violent rhetoric online following news of a pending indictment. Right, so let's get to it here, CBS News. Jared Hill, he's live outside the Manhattan courthouse with those yeah. details. Jared, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. We've seen uh, the sort of barricades around the courthouse here in Manhattan a bit more strategically placed as we're waiting for this grand jury potentially to reconvene today. Now, because all this is happening in private, we don't know uh, exactly what the timetable looks like for any potential charges, but law enforcement and former President Trump are getting ready. Several sources close to former President Donald Trump say he's huddling at home at Mar-a-Lago, surrounded by his lawyers and senior campaign advisors, as he awaits a possible indictment in Manhattan. Sources tell CBS News the grand jury's work is almost done. It's considering whether to indict the former president in connection to allegations that he falsified records in order to pay for the silence of adult film star Stormy Daniels back in 2016. She says they had an affair. Trump has denied all of it. Our enemies are desperate to stop us. Over the past few days, Trump, a candidate for 2024, has used the prospect of arrest as a rallying cry, pushing out a flurry of fundraising emails and calling supporters to protest. It gives him a chance to really play the victim, which is his favorite thing to do politically. Several Republicans have rushed to Trump's defense. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul tweeted, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg should be put in jail. Responding to the pressure, a spokesperson for Bragg wrote, we won't let baseless accusations deter us from fairly applying the law. Law enforcement remains on high alert with an NYPD presence and barricades outside the Manhattan courthouse, the DA's office, and Trump Tower in Washington, fencing around the U.S. Capitol. Police are, are better prepared and better informed this time around. CBS News has obtained an intelligence bulletin that describes a significant increase in threats and violent rhetoric online following Trump's recent social media post predicting a possible arrest. And again, it's worth noting here as well that while there are those, uh, the increase in threats online, there has not been any indication that there are specific and credible threats against any particular person or piece of property. But still, you got law enforcement really across the country uh, keeping a watchful eye over the next couple of days. Back to you. Everybody on alert these mm -hmm. days. All right. Thanks Indeed. very much.